convert your PDF documents back into an editable document. Hello, my name is Chet Davis, your technology tutor. Welcome to Tech for Experts and Authors. The last couple days we've been focusing on some tips for using Microsoft Word. On Monday, um, you know, tips for setting up Microsoft Word. On Tuesday morning, uh, tips for editing efficiency inside Microsoft Word. And then yesterday, focusing on the kind of the three major or main ways to share a completed Word document. The um, focus today, I just want to show you one easy, quick, free resource for converting a PDF document back into an editable document, specifically a Word document in this case. And where this came about is yesterday in the program, we talked about uh, how to kind of laminate your finished uh, Word document. And what I mean by laminate is not physically laminating it, but kind of electronically laminating it in such a way that essentially what we're doing is we're, we're finishing it off. So we share this document with our audience, with a, with a colleague, with a customer, with a client, and um, it's, it's all finished and wrapped up. So they, they don't need to edit it. They can't edit it, as a matter of fact. So if it's got prices, if it's got part of a contract, if it's got information you just want to send out and don't want to have the option to edit, a PDF is a great way to do it. Plus, they don't need any application software to open it, except Adobe PDF Reader. But on Mac, you've got Preview. So a, a lot of different applications already have a built-in reader. And if not, they can download a free reader. But today, I want to show you the kind of how to undo that because there's all these times when we think we're doing something great and then maybe you lose the original document and you want to or need to edit it, you want to do something different with it, and you can't because it's PDF'd, right? It's laminated, it's finished, it's wrapped up. Chat, how can I undo that? Well, if you have the latest edition of Microsoft Office on the Windows platform, you can go right to the Open um, button under File file on the top menu open and a pdf document uh, will be an option to load however i'm on uh, my macbook pro and in the mac uh, version of ms office microsoft office for mac and yes i'm using the latest version it, it is not an option we don't have the option to directly open a pdf without jumping through some hoops now there are a number of options for opening up a pdf if you have Adobe Acrobat, which is the full paid version of Adobe software for creating, editing, uh, sending PDF documents, uh, and, and that runs in the hundreds of dollars, or I think it's $14.99 US a month if you're on their subscription plan to have that option. But I want to show you, again, a free easy tool. Now, some of these other um, options out there, these documents, these websites that will convert, they will convert it so the text comes over. But what I found out is the layout can all be jumbled. In other words, you know, it's uh, the, the data is there, the information is there, but it's presented in such a way that it might be out of order, you know, and if it was a two column document, it's all squished into one. And sometimes if there's graphics or charts, it's all cattywampus. It's, it's, it's a mess, frankly. So I have found months ago and been using this great tool in fact, let me go ahead and switch over to show you that. And um, that tool right here is called um, PDF to Doc. PDF numeral to Doc or document, right? So let's go ahead and transition over. And you'll find the website PDF to Doc dot com. PDF Doc. PDF to numeral to PDF numeral two doc.com. And I, I wanted to show you how easy it is to use this thing. So what you want to do is you want to identify a, a PDF document that's on your computer. Let's go ahead and go full screen with the web browser here. And PDF two doc. There is a downloadable version you can see, but uh, frankly, I'm just using the cloud-based version, the web-based version. You may want to use the download version, the actual software application you download onto your computer. If you're going to be away from the internet, you know, you're going to be out of, uh, out of Wi-Fi, you're going to be out of a connection, uh, traveling, maybe you're on a flight, um, on a boat, uh, you know, in the back country, but then you shouldn't be using your computer. Come on, just relax. And, and you want to do some conversions offline. But I'm online this morning, so I can go ahead and instead of download, what we're going to do is we'll come down here to the smaller menu because they really want you to download it. We're going to come down here and upload a document. 
upload files. So we click on that and I do have a PDF document I wanted to upload. I was doing a um, document on um, helping my authors and expert colleagues uh, get more comfortable with webinar technology. And we're going to open that. So Chet Davis Webinar Fundamentals. It's a PDF document. You see in the left side here, it's uploading that document. And then it's going to convert that document and then move it back over to a Word document that's editable. So it uploaded it. Now it's converting it. Now we can click download here. The, the reason why you see two options for download, those download here on the left side, that's going to download a sic single document. If I have uploaded multiple documents, multiple PDF documents for um, conversion, they're going to be kind of lining up here and I can download all when they're done. But I just have a single document so that I could click here or click here. And we go ahead and download. And that will go over to my downloads folder. Or you could click the download all. Okay, but I have a, again just a single document and it dropped into my downloads folder. You're not seeing that because it's on my other desktop. I'm actually running two different desktops this morning, uh, one with the uh, presentation software to show you what's going on, and the other has um, the, 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 what you're seeing, the PDF to doc. So I'm going to open up my downloads folder and I'll drag that over so you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to pop that open. And check this out. What shows up is a Word document. And so this is fully editable. Now, the reason why I like showing you this as an example, take a look at this. We have borders. We have headlines. We have different colors. We have images. I've got a table of contents. And again, I've got some additional photos inside of this document. And it brought it all over in a format now I can click in here and and it's fully editable so this was a PDF document that I created um, and you know laminated it essentially electronically using the PDF option and and now I'm able to go back in and update the document you know modernize it change it out so very very cool very easy to use and free capital f r e e free very very useful very cool software again you get this it's a website okay so it's an online tool uh, you could say a cloud based tool and um, that's available at pdf numeral 2 doc.com pdf 2 doc Dot com. Okay. And um, that that's it for today's program. So uh, speaking of cloud, uh, next week, Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll be focusing on demystifying the cloud. A lot of people asking, what is what is what is the cloud? What is synchronizing via the cloud? What is saving via the cloud? What is computing in the cloud or cloud computing? We'll deal specifically with those three topics on Monday, Tuesday. And Wednesday of next week, uh, 6.45 a.m. Pacific, 9.45 Eastern. If you haven't already, definitely like this page so that you'll be uh, notified each and every day. I have a resource to share with you. It's my mission, my goal, my passion uh, as a technology teacher to help you get the most out of your technology. Chet Davis, your technology tutor, saying go out there and make it a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>